everyone, it's me again, and welcome to Faith's Finds. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade, and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. Sometimes. And you should subscribe and hit that little bell icon down below. It'll notify you every time I upload so you don't miss a minute of this riveting action. I swear, y'all, I have... I have done more makeup in the last, like, week and a half than I have in the last year, and my skin just needed a break. What you've stumbled across is Fate's Finds, which is usually a haul or an unboxing of some kind. And today, as the title suggests, we are going to be unboxing another uncanny creature. If you missed the last video, I'll have it in the cards up there. Go ahead and go check it out. Um, that is where we met this little fella, uh, which is... Um, my friend Crystal has been naming these. If you've been a member of the Faithful for years, then you know who Crystal is. She was in a couple of my videos ages and ages and ages ago. Ages ago. I've known her for well over a decade. We're very good friends. Um, and she'll probably be on this channel a few times. At least I'm hoping so. But um, she's been naming these guys for me in the comments. You guys will see her. Uh, she has a YouTube channel herself where she reacts to K-pop music videos. Uh, named this little guy Tyrone. So that is his name now. He is Tyrone and he's adorable. And then she also named this other uncanny creature, which I, <laughs> I had every intention of filming an unboxing video of this guy for you guys, but I just could not wait to open him. Uh, so you guys haven't met this little guy yet. Say hello to Steve. Steve Bunchemi, because he's kind of got a little Steve Buscemi look going on about him. Um, these are uncanny creatures. These are made by an artist. Um, with an Etsy shop. I will link her down below. She is absolutely amazing, wildly talented, and she specializes in creating these little collectible uh, figurines of sorts. They're not really toys. They're like collectible things um, that bridge the uncanny valley, which is sort of the valley between, you know, human and artificial. It's not quite totally artificial, but it's not quite human enough to be human. So it's this uncanny valley that just is kind of creepy, um, but cute at the same time. So she specializes in these creepy cute little creatures, including Steve and Tyrone here. And I got a third one because I just can't get enough of her stuff. Uh, so we have this little critter who I believe is a cat, um, judging by the ears looks like a cat. And then we have Steve, who is a bunny. And Steve is magnificent. I love this little blunt cut bang that's like right above his nose. He's so cute. I absolutely adore him. And I got another one. And I'm going to unbox it for you guys because this one should be the biggest one yet. So this is the box. I did take uh, the outer layer off because like I said in my last video, it's an airmail package um, because she lives in the UK and it has my address in huge letters on the front of it. So I cut that off. Oh look! So when you first open an uncanny creatures box, you will see packing peanuts. She makes sure that everything is very, very safely packaged, which I appreciate. And then when you dig into the packing peanuts, you will find a little wad of tissue paper. Um, and this is your uncanny creature. So this one, I'm super excited, y'all. This one I had no intention of buying originally, but he just looks so cute, I couldn't not pick him up. So here he is. And then you can see it has like the uncanny creature's logo on it. She actually, since between I buying my first uncanny creature and adopting my second uncanny creature. She actually has tags now that she puts on them, which is awesome. It's great to see artists like this that are, you know, evolving and able to do new things and play with new mediums once they get really successful. She went viral uh, in a video on Facebook and she's been unable to keep her shelves stocked ever since. Um, so if you want one of her creatures, <laughs> go in the moment it goes live, follow her on Facebook. She posts about the creatures and when they are going live on Etsy and basically just go in the minute they go live and snap it up while you can because they will sell out very quickly. Oh my god, I love him. I love him. Look, he's got a little boat. 
tie. <laughs> so this is my new uncanny creature. You can see he also has a tag. Um, this is a brown kind of taupey, cool toned brown bear with little green eyes, a little triangular nose, and you can see the teeth underneath there. That's part of my favorite part about her creatures is the teeth. The teeth are so realistic looking. She paints them herself and they are absolutely stunning. So this is him. Uh, his head is kind of turned to the side a little bit. Um, so like when you hold him straight on, his head's kind of cocked to the side, which kind of gives him a little, uh, little inquisitive glance. His eyes are just barely asymmetrical, which I absolutely love. And this bow tie, I'm dying. He's so dapper. He's so cute. And he's got the same color eyes as Steve, kind of. Yeah, he's got the same color eyes as Steve. So it's almost like they're cousins or something. Um, but this little fella needs a name. And one of the things, one of the things I noticed about Steve at first is he kind of had to be sort of molded a little bit because I guess he got smushed a little in shipping and he wasn't standing up on his own quite as easily as Tyrone here was. Uh, Tyrone stands up on his own very, very easily. These smaller ones that have like smaller little feet sometimes need to be bent around a little bit. Plus he's got very, very long ears. Uh, so if his ears are bent too far forward, he will just droop forward like a drunk bunny. But I mean, he's Steve Bunchemi. He has a good time. He likes to party. Sometimes these do have trouble standing up on their own. So you may need to like manipulate the stuffing a little bit. Thankfully, they do kind of move. They'll mold around a little bit like they're firm, but you can sort of manipulate the shape of and pose of your bear here and eventually he will stand up on his own at least i think he will it looks like one of his legs might be shorter than the other do you guys see that there's like a very clear difference in the legs i'm wondering if that means he won't stand up on his own but maybe he will you know, maybe that was just something in the design. He seems to be standing up on my hand just fine, but my hand is cupped. Um, this guy will need a name. So I am definitely taking suggestions, not just from Crystal, because <laughs> Crystal does seem to be the one that names all these, but in reality, she's one of the few people who actually gives me name suggestions. So if you have a suggestion for a name for this little bear fella, please don't be shy. Like he needs a name. I feel like he needs a dapper name. Like, I feel like, especially with this little black bow tie and his little like cool toned brown hair, he's so snuggly, I love him. Um, I feel like he needs a really dapper name, like Benedict or um, like Winston, you know what I mean? Like something, something really, something really dapper and like Withering Heights or something, <laughs> but let's see. So I just wiped off my counter so it's not so dusty. And I will stand him up. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, he's a little drunk. Um, he does not seem to want to stand up on his own so easily. And I think it's because one of the legs is slightly, slightly longer than the other. But I feel like I could probably, you know, like mold them and manipulate them. So one of them is slightly shorter and kind of even them out a little bit. The craftsmanship, as always, is fantastic. The work she does is absolutely wonderful. Um, it's just you know, one of those uncanny valley quirks where it's like, this guy is going to have two different size legs and he's not going to stand up quite as easily, uh, at least on first go. Ooh. I'm still trying to make him stand up on his own. He may have to lean against something, you know, maybe, maybe this little fella is into the drink and he just falls over. Like he's the town drunk of my uncanny valley. Um, but he's absolutely adorable. I love him so much. He's so like pudgy and he's definitely the biggest uncanny creature I have. This guy was with shipping, I believe just over a hundred dollars. He was like 90, he was like 85 or 89 by himself. And then with shipping, he was like 103, I think. But he's definitely the biggest of any of the uncanny creatures I own including Tyrone here. Tyrone's a little bit wider than he is, but he's definitely taller and he's definitely taller than Steve. Steve is the smallest of the three that I have. Okay. Yeah, he's not leaning on anything. All right, so basically I just had to kind of mold his legs a little bit, which that will happen sometimes in shipping these guys. They'll get a little bit 
kind of bent out of shape and you kind of have to reshape them. But all of these uncanny creatures that I've bought so far do eventually stand up on their own. Sometimes you just have to morph them and mold them a little bit to get them to do that. But this guy is absolutely charming. I love him. Let's see, what does the tag say? It says, this is not a toy. It has a decorative purpose only and is intended for adult collectors. To clean from dust, wipe gently with a damp cloth. This art doll contains new materials only, so it is not a salvaged piece. Um, all of her stuff is made with new materials, and it's all very, very soft. She takes photos of her progress on her Facebook page, and she, again, announces when she's going to be bringing these guys on, um, so you can be ready to jump in. She does have new eyeballs now, um, which I'm really excited about. She made a devil recently, like a devil cat that had horns and ears, and he had um, hearts for eyes. Like they had eyes where the pupils were little hearts. And she's got spirals, she's got new colors of fur. She's constantly bringing in new shapes and, you know, new shapes of mouths, new like bow ties, new little accessories, new colors of fur, new things to play with. She's constantly trying to come up with new designs for animals. Um, but I absolutely love that she's growing. I love that she's, you know, diversifying in her work and she's adding more and making each character even more unique. She also does custom work, so you can contact her on her Etsy page and get a custom uncanny creature. Uh, maybe I should do that for uh, one of my next ones. I'll order a customized uncanny creature. Um, and that's, I guess, another question I would ask you guys. If you were to make a custom uncanny creature, what would it be? What kind of animal would it be? What kind of eyeballs would it have? What kind of teeth would it have? What kind of, like, fur color would you get? Would you have a bow tie like this little fella? Or would you have bunny ears like Steve here? Um, but yeah, that would be my question. Should I do that? Like, is that something that you guys are even interested in? I have no idea. But this is it pretty much. This is all I wanted to do in this video was unbox this little guy. I do feel bad that I didn't get to unbox Steve on the channel, but I was so excited to see his little blunt cut bangs. I just couldn't wait any longer. So I was like, I'm opening this off camera, but Steve still gets his moment in the sun. He is here and uh, this little guy is here as well as is Tyrone. It's just really hard for me to hold them all up at once. There we go. The family is growing. And there we go. That is, you know, what I wanted to do today. That's pretty much it, is just introduce you guys to this little fella. He is so cute. I'm so happy with him. Uh, so definitely don't forget to check out Uncanny Creatures. They are infinitely collectible, so I will warn you now, you will get addicted. In the meantime, in between time, I hope you found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me and my little uncanny friends here, you've got a couple options now. You can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out. Or hey, you can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I put out new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles. Say bye, little friend. Toodles. Wow.